Hi, this is your everyday encouragement, and it is Freedom Friday. Now, understand this, that even though this I call this Freedom Friday, that every single day of your life, you are created to be free. You're not created to be bound, you're not created for mediocrity, you're created for greatness, and you're created for freedom. And I've been teaching from the book, So Happy and Grateful, by Brother Antonio Smith Jr. And this book has absolutely blessed my socks off. And I pray that this week has been a blessing to you. And I also pray that you will take all of these videos from Monday through Friday and share them widely. And number one, to get the idea of what it means to be happy and grateful, to understand the why of your life, and then also to get this book because this book will bless you and help you to crystallize and codify the things in your life that will help you to realize happiness and gratitude. So today is Freedom Friday. As usual, I let my hair down, and there is a chapter in uh, Brother Smith's book, chapter 12, it's called The Law of Allowing Understanding Freedom. You have to really process in your mind and in your heart what it truly means to be free because see a lot of people walk around and live in frustration and fear and you have to understand the frustration and fear are controlling and bondage whatever frustrates you controls you and whatever you fear you won't face and when you are afraid to face what you uh, what's confronting you you are in bondage and this book, this chapter, will help you to understand freedom and help you basically to walk in it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, so watch this. There is a, a, a particular passage that I want you to that I want you to catch. It says, "Therefore, you must learn to create around you the world that you are wanting, and allow others to create the world that they want around them. Your world is your world, and their world is their world. It is not enough to understand this intellectually, but still have an issue with the way people choose to live. What they have chosen is what they perceive to be what they deserve, even if they want to admit this or not." One of the things that we have a problem with is we want to dictate to others how they should live their lives. In other words, we want to impress our reality on others. And when you are doing that, not only are you stifling the freedom of others, but you are stifling your own freedom because you're focusing your energy on trying to create a reality for others instead of creating your own. Remember, the law of attraction and the law of vibration that, that supports that is that basically whatever you vibrate at the frequency of is that which you will attract because like attracts like. You know, people say opposites attract. No, like attracts like. <laughs> and that's, that's, what, that's what really happens. So you don't want to focus your energy on trying to create a reality for others. You want to create a reality for yourself. And I'll tell you something. Listen. You need to understand what it means to be free. Um, and if you're not operating in happiness and gratitude, you're not truly operating in freedom. And the, the thing is, we want to get to the point in our lives where we understand that we are created to be free. I want to give you an example. When God created everything in the, in the Genesis account, what couldn't God do? What were God's restrictions? What were God's limitations? What, what, what was it that God couldn't do? And the answer is nothing. God could do anything. He can do anything that he wants. And he created us in his image to look like him and his likeness to act like him. And so that means that whatever God can do, we should be able to do. The, the word, when, when, uh, when it says that God breathed into man the breath of life, it actually means that God created man another speaking spirit. In other words, God created us to be a speaking spirit like him. In other words, we're able to think and to speak our reality into existence. This is a really, really powerful thing. And this book helps you to understand that you are a creative being. You have the power to create your reality, to shape your, uh, your conditions, to shape your environment, and to bring into your world the happiness, the things, the people that you desire. And that's what I have for you today. This book, 
so happy and grateful by Antonio Smith Jr. You can get it on Amazon in both Kindle and in paperback. I highly recommend it. Now, for those of you who um, are staying tuned to this, then next week, next week I'm going to be teaching from Anthony Calloway's book, The Mind Game. M-I-N-D means moving in new directions. And, and this is a really powerful book and it has equally blessed me. It, uh, we're gonna go in a different direction in that than we did with this, but it will bless you. And I'm looking forward to sharing it. I'm looking forward to the roller coaster ride uh, of fun and, and sharing the, uh, the nuggets of that book as I have with, uh, with Brother Smith's book. And that's what I have for you today. And I pray that it blesses you. And remember that God loves you, so do I. You're loved and blessed and valued. <laughs> Have a great weekend.